going to look at a perimeter word problem. The first thing you would want to notice in your problem is your shape. And we are going to work with a rectangle. So we'll make a picture. The dimensions on a rectangle are length and width. So we'll write those down. We don't want to abbreviate because we don't want to mix our abbreviation up with our variable. The other quantity that we're going to use to solve the problem is perimeter. And then we'll look in our word problem. It says the length of a rectangle is 3 feet less than twice the width. The perimeter is 42 feet. Find the length. We want to know with our dimensions which one they say nothing about. So they say the length of the rectangle is 3 feet less than twice the width. Notice that they say nothing about the width. So that's going to be our variable. We'll translate for the length with the other part of the sentence. The length of the rectangle is 3 feet less than twice the width. So this one is using less than. Remember, less than is subtract, and it translates backwards. The 3 is what you want to take away, so it goes after the minus. And it's 3 feet less than twice the width. Twice is 2 times, so 2W. And for perimeter, they gave it to us, 42 feet. Let's label our picture. So this will be 2W two, two minus 3W, 2W two minus 3, and W. And then to make our equation, we're going to use the definition of perimeter. If we add the outside edges, that gives us the distance around. So we'll add all the sides. That is equal to perimeter by definition, and will give us an equation. So we'll just go around the rectangle adding them up. So we have 2w minus 3 plus w plus 2w minus 3 plus w equals perimeter they gave us is 42. Put your like terms together. So we have 2w plus 1 is 3, 4, 5, 6w. Put your constants together. Minus 3 minus 3 gives us minus 6. Now we have a standard two-step equation to solve. We'll work on the side with the w, and we'll take off the 6 that's subtracted. If it's subtracted, we should add. So if we add it on the left, it's going to cancel out to leave us 6w. We also have to add it on the right to give us 48. And then we'll divide on both sides by 6. We'll give us w equals 8. That's for the width. Make sure with these that you answer what the question asks for. Notice the question asks for the length. You would hate to do all this work and then not answer the final part. So we need to substitute it into the expression for the length. So we have 2 times 8 minus 3 is 16 minus 3 gives us 13 for the length. So our width is 8 feet. Our length is 13 feet. The length is the answer to the question. And we'll just do a quick check with numbers. So we have two sides that are 13 and two sides that are 8. 8 and 8 is 16. 
and that does work. It adds up to 42, which is our perimeter. So our length is 13 feet. Here's another example of a geometry word problem using perimeter. Uh, this time, notice our shape is a triangle. Before we draw a picture, uh, let's just read and make sure it's not any special kind of triangle like an isosceles or equilateral triangle. The perimeter of a triangle is 21 yards. One side is 5 yards less than twice the length of the second side. The third side is 10 yards more than the second side. Find the length of the sides. So it is not one of the special triangles. So we'll draw a triangle. And we'll just number the sides. So we have our first side, our second side, and our third side. And let's go back to the problem uh, to define those. One side is five yards less than twice the length of the second side. So this one is talking in terms of the second side. The third side is ten yards more than the second side. So the one they tell us nothing about is the second side. So we'll define that as our variable. We'll call it x. And we'll translate for the other two. So for our first one, one side is 5 yards less than twice the length of the second side. So less than is subtract. Remember, it goes backwards. So 5 is what we're taking away, 5 yards less than twice the second side. So 2x minus 5. And then we'll go to our third side. The third side is 10 yards more than the second side. More than means to add. Uh, you could write 10 plus the second side, which is x, or x plus 10 would give you the same. So let's label our triangle. It doesn't matter which side we call which, so we'll just call this one x and 2x minus 5 and 10 plus x. The other quantity we have in the problem is the perimeter. So we'll mark that down. And it equals 21 yards. And we'll use the definition of perimeter to make our equation. So if we add all the sides, that is equal to the perimeter. And we will just go around the triangle and add them up. So we have x plus 2x minus 5 plus 10 plus x, that's adding all the sides, should equal perimeter, which is 21. Now we have an equation. Let's clean it up. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4x. And your constants can go together. Minus 5 plus 10 gives you plus 5. Now you have a standard two-step equation. On the side with the x, take off your 5. It's added, so you should subtract. When you subtract on the left, it will cancel. And you also will subtract 5 on the right-hand side. We'll give you a 16. And then we will divide out the 4. So we'll divide by 4 on this side, and we'll get just x. And also divide by 4 on the other side. 16 divided by 4 gives us 4. That's the answer for the second side, and then we will substitute back to get the other two. So we'll substitute into this first expression, 2 times 4 minus 5, which would be 8 minus 5 is 3, and into this lower one, 10 plus 4 will give us 14. So we have one side that is 3, we have one side that is 4, and we have one side that is 14. 
Uh, let's do a quick check with numbers. So we have 3 plus 4 plus 14 gives us 21, and that is what we're supposed to have.